Today in this video, we are going to learn that through this MCB, how to make trip indication circuit. This means if your MCB is in trip condition, then in this condition, one of the lamp will glow. As you can see, this lamp is glowing. I am turning off, turning on. MCB is in off condition and lamp is glowing. If I turn on this MCB, then you will observe indication lamp will turn off. Load is turned on and along with this, on indication lamp also started glowing. So how to make trip indication circuit for MCB? Let's understand. You may find a lot of videos on YouTube in which it is described how to make trip indication circuit for MCB. But among these videos, many are fake and even if some videos are useful, they involve the use of this relay. Friends, if you look in any industry, then along with this MCB, an auxiliary contact is used. By connecting this auxiliary contact with MCB, trip indication circuit is made. This auxiliary contact we have can be connected with single pole MCB, two pole MCB and also with three pole MCB. This means with any of these MCBs, you can connect this contact. Connection is very simple. What you have to do is in this MCB, if you look at this side of MCB, here a cover was present. I already removed this before for connecting this. I can show you at this side. See here, you will find a cover. You have to remove this cover. When you remove this, it will be look like this. Now in this auxiliary contact, you can see this handle and also a knob with the handle. This will be connected directly with this handle. I mean this will be mounted over this in this way. After this, you can see in this auxiliary contact, two mountings are provided here and here. We have to connect these mountings with MCB so that it will fully mechanically interlock with MCB. So I am mounting this here and I am connecting these two locks with MCB in this way. Now this auxiliary contact is mounted with this MCB. You can see it is not coming out. If I turn off the MCB, this will also turns off. On turning MCB on, this contact also turns on. In this auxiliary contact, you will find total three terminals. One, two, three. Among these three terminals, one is common, one NO and one NC. Now which one is NO and which is NC, we have to refer circuit diagram here. As you can see here, it is showing that 11 number terminal is common, 12 number terminal is NC and 14 number terminal is NO. By using these, how to make indication circuit, let's understand. So here I am going to use two indication lamps. Among these two indication lamps, this green indication lamp is going to be used for on condition. What I will do is, the phase supply provided to this indication lamp will be provided through NO contact of this auxiliary contact. NO contact is the bottom one that is 14 number terminal. I am connecting the wire with this terminal. After this, this red indication lamp is going to be used as trip indication lamp. What I will do is, take the phase wire of this lamp and to this auxiliary contact at NC contact connect this wire. 12 number terminal is of NC contact so I connected the wire at 12 number terminal. To the common terminal of this auxiliary contact we have to provide phase supply to this terminal. To provide phase supply at input terminal of MCB loop this red wire from here. After this we have to provide neutral power supply to both these lamps. So what I will do is to the output load, the neutral power supply which is coming, loop a wire with same neutral power supply. You can see from here, neutral power supply is coming to this indication lamp. And from here, a wire is looped to provide neutral power supply to this indication lamp. Now we have to provide input power supply to this MCB. So I am using a red wire for this. Connect this wire at input terminal of MCB. To the load, the power supply which is required will be supplied from this point. So connect the phase wire of load at this point. For this MCB, wiring of trip indication circuit is completed. If I turn on the power supply, you can see trip indication lamp started glowing. Right now MCB is in off condition, so this lamp is glowing. If I turn on this MCB, you can see this indication lamp is off, load turned on, and along with this, on indication lamp started glowing. In place of on indication lamp, I used voltmeter indication lamp so that it can show how much is the voltage at output. If I again trip this MCB, then you can see this indication lamp started glowing and this one becomes off. Let's see one more time. On turning MCB on, trip indication lamp goes off, on indication lamp started glowing. 
on tripping MCB, trip indication lamp starts glowing and on indication lamp goes off. Thanks for watching this video.